Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at the Stationery Junkie. And for this video, I'm going to walk you through a shopping expedition to Tokyo, starting with Yodobashi Akiba. We're going to look at some of the stationery selections in this store, starting from Nolte. They've got an extensive selection of Nolte planners, but the planners that they carry in this store and basically almost any stationery store in Japan are April start or the spring start planners. They also carry Hobonichi, but it's not as extensive. They only carry the weeks here. Not much on the cousin or the A6 type of planners that we're used to and not so much on accessories as well or covers for that matter. But it's still interesting to see that they have quite a very extensive selection of planners ranging from different colors to different layouts, which is really interesting. And it's something that I don't see every day where I'm from. Although I have seen some of the planner brands like Torinko. They also have a very extensive selection of stamps, pen cases, pens. I didn't get to shoot some clips of their pen selection because there were quite a number of shoppers in that section of the floor they also have some journal tabs and stickers it's quite interesting but their selection of stickers they're not much my type but they do have a lot of it so let me walk you through now what i have shopped and what i have bought from this store in the next clip okay let's go through what i have bought at Yodabashi Akiba. The rule is that you are not allowed to open what you've purchased that if you have availed a tax refund because if you do, then you must, uh, you will be needing to pay for the tax that came along with the purchase. So this is how they've packaged it. There's a note saying what to do about purchased tax-free goods. I did not open this. I wanted to open it with you guys. So this is what I have purchased. There's a ton of washi tapes out here. Okay, let's just take a look. So I paid 8,170 yen. I have yet to convert this in USD, how much that is. But um, I was converting in new Taiwan dollars because that's the currency that I used to exchange my money in and it's not that bad I have shopped for a lot more okay so let's go through the entire thing okay you guys I have unboxed everything that was in that bag and I like what I told you there's just a ton of washi tapes here and a couple of stamps and stuff so let's go through with it one by one so I'm just going to start first with the Bande masking tapes. There are quite a lot. There's like, let me just segregate these things. So there's like five of them, five packs that I've bought out here. Let's just put some, oh no, it's six. Wow, I'm obsessed. So uh, these Bande masking tapes or washi tapes, what I liked about them is that they are package like a regular roll of washi tapes but the good part of that is it's already pre-cut so it like works like a sticker wherein you just unroll it from the roll and then take one piece or several pieces and stick them into your journals or your planner so this is really nifty I don't need to to cut stuff like with the PET tapes and I like that this is easy to use and it looks very cute. I picked a couple of them. This one is like a, a purple and pink roll. It's only 550 yen. That's kind of like in New Taiwan dollars that is um, around 100 plus. So it's not a lot in USD. I'm sorry. I just could not calculate it off, off the top of my head. But this is not as expensive, so I really like this brand of washi tape. So, yeah, I, I truly enjoy going through all of the stack that they have at Yodabashi Akiba. So, I also got this really cute um, girl washi tape. So, it's depicting some different scenarios that I 
is really cute and adorable and I like it. You could actually see that one of them is um, lifting from the roll right here. So it's just peel off and use it so you don't have to cut anything. It's already die cut which is amazing. And it's hard to come by this brand of washi tape where I'm from. I would usually get this in Shopee in Taiwan but it's gonna be a little bit more expensive like a couple a couple uh, maybe 20 or 30 NT more expensive than when you buy it in Japan I also have this another girl washi tape and this time it's kind of like a, it's like a line art thing it's very cute I I really like how adorable this is I couldn't open it because some of these tapes are gonna be gifts to uh, Valentina that uh, I'm gonna be doing a stationary swap with and some of this will be mine some of the these will be my sister's so I don't want to open I still have yet to decide which ones I will keep for myself yeah and oh I didn't oh I bought two of these so I guess I'm gonna give one to my sister yeah I maybe we can open one of these as, because that's going to be my own stash. Sorry about that. So it's really cute. This this card you can actually use for journaling. I'm going to stick it to my journal because it's really cute and adorable. Just look at that. It's really, really cute. I'm hoping you're seeing that in the camera. So taking out the roll here. Ooh, be careful. Look how... They are already like this. So let's take off one. Slowly but surely, see? It's already easy to peel off. And the rest are like cut like such. So it's very easy to take it off. And it, they are really thin. Um, they're like glossy washi tapes. They don't have uh, some kind of texture or something. So this this particular flap will make it easier for you to, to lift it off the roll. So that's how it is. It's so cute. I really love, I really love this um, masking tapes. The Japanese think of everything. And that's what I love, shopping stationery in Japan. It's like so cute, so adorable, and so technologically advanced. <laughs> okay, so I also bought this cat books and stuff. <laughs> it's, um, it's one of those die cut tapes and there is one slim roll of washi tape here so the back you can already see what the design is and what all of the die cut washi tapes are so very cool and this one i will definitely be using for myself it's um date date uh washi tape i'm gonna open it just to see how it looks like Oh, 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 okay. So, ooh. So this one is like um, a roll, pre-cut roll of, sorry, let's put that in frame. Uh, pre-cut roll of the dates of the month. So I think it's best if I use this at the beginning of the month. And this slim guy here are uh, the days of the week. I think it's really cute. I'm so glad I picked this up. This is actually in my list of stuff to buy. And I really love how it looks like. It's going to be it's going to look so good on my planners, especially uh with a common planner where they have undated or like blank grid paper on those planners. So this is going to work really nice in that. It's going to add some color and some shapes and stuff so that's the reason why i picked this up i'm planning to use this to date some of the pages in my journal okay those 
fun day washi tapes are done we're gonna get to this another roll of washi tape this is the ribbon bond so i got this specifically for my sister she loves cats i also love cats but i do have a lot of washi tapes already and this particular roll comes with a well, comes with its own washi tape cutter and what's really cute about that see that that hexagonal design is that when you pull up the roll of tape and you can slide it down here at the at that um, groove right there when you peel it off it's gonna look like a cat which is so cute it's really cute yeah this is how um, the company suggests how to use it and I got one for my sister and one for my sister's friend and I also got her these Nototo roller stamps she likes stamps so I got this one that's like a hash grid and one about cats because she loves cats same way as I do and this is like this is like my my the purchase that I'm the most happiest I got a Shachi Iro date stamp from it's actually made by Shachi Hata the bakers of these um, nifty stamp ink stamps so I got the one with the date stamps and the great thing about this date stamper is that you can disengage the different blocks and you know make it as you see fit uh, for example um, the the first of the month starts on a Wednesday you can move things around there you go sorry I was out of focus there you can move things around and that's what I love about it and the dates are the numbers are quite small and I think this is gonna work on the common planner or even the Hobonichi grids they're quite tiny and the reason why I picked this up is because you don't need to put together the first and second number they're already printed as is so I can just stamp it for example if I want to put some page numbers on my journal I could do that with this stamp and that's the reason why I got it it's kind of like hard to come by this particular date stamper and it's also a little bit more expensive in here in Taiwan if I buy, buy it in Shopee and I also bought this additional blocks okay this one is I'm not sure if you're seeing this one is like a square like a tick box and this one is a circle I'm not sure if you're seeing it yeah there you go so this is kind of like a, a signifier in the bullet journal since I do bullet journal um, quite recently so I thought to buy these because you can lock them together I could probably um, use it individually or I can use it like stick it uh, before number four and I have like a, a really nifty uh, circle signifier or like a tick box that I can use to mark certain items in my journal and I also got this really cute um, butterfly washi tape it's really cool it has gold foiling I hope you're seeing that well it just reminds me of the April sterling ink subscription kit so I got this mainly because it reminded me of that particular subscription box so it's really cute and lastly I got a uniball signo the camera is not focusing come on um, it's a uniball signo pen in 0.5 I do have a 0.38 of this uh, but I wanted to get a, a broader nib that's why I bought this and I love brown inks. I think I've mentioned that in the previous video that I have an extensive, extensive collection of brown inks. And that's the reason why I got one of these. The Uniball Signo DX pens are reliable. The ink is saturated and it writes so smoothly on Tomoe River paper and also on Stalogy paper so I'm using a Stalogy right now for my bullet journal so that's what I'm using it for so this is my current stash or the loot 
that I purchased from Yorobashi Akiba. I'm really excited to start using all of these and to also send it over to my sister and to Valentina. I hope that they will like the stuff that I've chosen for them. And I hope that you also enjoyed this particular loot haul uh, purchase. I'll be back with a couple more of what I've bought in other stationery stores that I've been to in Japan. So stick around and thanks for watching. Thank you.